Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming for a wonderful Friday evening here from the track. Eight live races on the racing program. We kick things off at 5.55. The windows are open for wagering. 25 degrees currently here in Florence, y'all, and the track condition, of course, listed as fast. Race number one kicks off the proceedings here with a pick five wager, the early pick five, and low takeouts on our pick fives here, just a 15% takeout. We have two of those, the first one offered here in the opener, and scratch number four, Future Vision. Number four, Future Vision is out. Take the 10, a triple chrome out. And they are racing at Turfway. Good beginning for Preston Bird. There goes Uzi with three mile limit on the offensive. And from between horses, it is Angasonic. And trying to catch a hole there, Fast Roy. These four across the course. A link that half in front of We Thank You from fifth. Master Lee is six to the inside. Tap it, Sam, seventh and about six off the pace now. Two further back to Kobe Beach, who's flanked up to the outside by Even Money. Still three. Back to Overprotective. Another couple links back to Congrats for Gore, who's up one spot. And that relegates this point in time to the 12th and trailing position. The quarter was 22 and two. And three miles. Mile limit in Perry Utes, dictating terms, doling out those fractions, two lengths. Up to the outside is Angus Sonic as Fast Roy is being asked to go now. And up on the outside, Master Lee moves a closer fourth. Tap it, Sam's up the inside, top of the home stretch. Three mile limit is still there. Now angling off that one heels. Tap it, Sam is coming at him and coming on. Late on the scene, Kobe Beach upset minded as they're inside the final for long. And tap it, Sam trying to put away three mile limit. Up the inside. Fast Roy and Kobe Beach. They race down towards the wire. Tap it, Sam. And tap it, Sam is going to win it. A three-way blanket photo finish there for third involving Kobe Beach. Congrats for glory. And uh, three-mile limit. Ladies and gentlemen, a dead heat. A dead heat for place involving the two Kobe Beach and the 14 Congrats for glory. The trio of placing judges could not uh, separate the 2 and 14 whom have dead heated for the play spot finishing fourth number three three mile limit five dead heat between 2 and 14 and the three was fourth and the opener is official be multiple payouts in your exact uh, tries and super standby Number five, Tap It Sam, 782, 438, 406. Exacta 5 and 2, 91, 18. Exacta 5 and 14, 134, 86. Now the trifecta with a winning combination of 5, 2, and 14. The 5, 2, 14 trifecta for 50 cents. Well, that gets you back $587.59. Now the trifecta of 5, 14, 2, 5142 for 50 cents. That returns $450.24. The Superfecta, 52143, $716.32. The Superfecta, 54423, $557.15. Some nice payouts there in the opener as we had a 5 to 2 winner. And those tries and super still paid quite well in race number one. Race two is up next. Race number two starts the early pick four. Post time in 22 minutes. Don't forget number one, Kimberly Dream has been scratched. And they are racing. Aaron's enthusiasm had a fast start. Hustled up the inside. There goes Four Glow. And from the high draw, Safe Travels crosses and clears. So from the outside stall, Safe Travels has the lead and shows the way by about three lengths. It is Four Glow deferring from second. Then Aaron's Enthusiasm, Fast and Diva. They are third and fourth. And a margin of about three to complete, who's fifth and already about 10 off the pace. Waters of Maram is towards that one's inside, flanked by Addison and still four or five back to look and to fly is ninth and trailing. The favorite has 16 links to make up the quarter quick, though, 23 and two. So safe travels shows the way going at a pretty good clip up the backside outside a half mile to go. And the leads now down to five. Four goes still second. Fashion Diva closer third. 
Aaron's enthusiasm is fourth. Meanwhile, complete parked out wide. Even further out is Addison. Up the inside quarter flash, still three. Back to Waters of Maram. And looking to fly is still last, but cutting to the margin. She's just a dozen lengths off the lead. Half mile, 47 and three. Safe travels lead is down to a length and a half. Up on the outside, Aaron's enthusiasm second. Forglow is third. Towards the inside, Fashion Diva. Meanwhile, quarter flash is locked and loaded. She's going to try to push her way out here. And in fact, she will as they reach the top of the home stretch. Aaron's enthusiasm with the lead. Quarter flash is loose and charging. Uh, up the inside now, diving down, looking to fly from the backfield. Here comes looking to fly, going to angle toward the inside of Aaron's enthusiasm. Here comes looking to fly from last to first. Quarter flash is up into a photo for second. Looking to fly did just that. Went last to first to get to the circle in 139 and four was full of run, came from last to first, weaving in and out of traffic through the lane and slides up the fence to win with Chris Landeros looking to fly. Two to one winner posted as your unofficial winner and they've called for a photo for the play spot. Five and a photo. In the winner's circle, number five, looking to fly. She's a six-year-old dark bear brown mare by looking at Lucky out of the belong to me mare named Fly to Me. The winner's owned by the Bella Cavello Stables, LLC. Trained by Billy Mori, Chris Landeros, the winning jockey. Fourth lifetime victory for the winner. Her second here at Turfway. And tonight, she goes last to first in 139 and four. Race official, prices up. The favorite, $6, 386 and 312. Exact to 29.84, the try 47.26. The 10 cent Superfecta, $72.97. The daily double was a pair of fives. In that $2 double, five and five, 37 94 The third race is up next to kick off the 20 cent single six jackpot wager. There's a scratch at number six, Carmel Sunrise. And they are racing to a level beginning. Slender Betsy hustled out to the front. Honeycomb will have to go with her from that rail draw. She's a keeper way in the third position. Bodiful is up the inside from fourth, and it is She's a Keeper is a fifth now advancing to the outside. Marlin, the uh, debuting uh, daughter of Fedbiz, is on the move. She's up into fifth. Cortado with the blinkers on is next, and a link for the back to Queen in the north. And Lady Livermore is second last, and this is Anfield out the back door. The quarter 22 and two. Honeycomb on through to take the lead, a length and a half to Slender Betsy from second. Cortado sliding through underneath her to the outside. Bodiful. Then three for the back to Lady Livermore being scrubbed upon is Queen in the north. The gray she's a keeper is three in front of this is Anfield and Marlin can see them all top of the home stretch just outside a quarter to go and Honeycomb is still there here comes Bodiful with a fresh challenge to the outside Cortado still third but with a furlong to go it's Honeycomb the class droppers showing the way by three Cortado up into second Bodiful is third then it's Lady Livermore Queen in North and everybody else who is chasing Honeycomb Honeycomb stings him here, wins by about six. Cortado was second, then it was, I believe, about a three or four horse photo there for the Miners in one, 11 and three. Honeycomb ran them off their feet here, the daughter of hard spun for Cipriano and Warden. Gets it done here, Manny Esquivel up top to start the single six at five to two. In the winner's circle, here she is, the 10th time the winning one for Honeycomb. Four-year-old bay daughter by hard spun out of the street since mayor named Ice Cream Silence. Contreras Stables, Inc., the owner, co-owning with Desperado Racing of Liz Warden, the winning trainer, Cipriano Contreras, and Minnie Esquivel. Up top, Honeycomb, much the best here. Bred in Kentucky by G. Watts Humphrey, Jr. Made in breaking performance, covering the six furlongs in 111 and three. Third is official, 708-472-310 on the winner. Exact to 11002, the try 8192, the double 2180. Dime Super 8938, the pick 34885. Race four is up next in 25 minutes. Race number four brought to you by Hoover Incorporated. The fourth race kicks off the late pick five. Reminded number three, Go Birdie will debut as a gelding. Scratch number six, eight, 12. Six, eight, 12 are out. 13 draws in. That rider is two pounds over. Fourth race up next to start to pick five. 24 minutes. 
and they are racing. Kind of a slow start for debuting Go Birdie, but is rushing up uh, shortly after the start as Sharp as nails shows the way. Hendricks to the outside. These two really keyed up, and they're in match race mode, running off about four links in front of Magnificent Mile, and even money will let him go from third. Ocean Point into the inside of Life and Light, fourth and fifth. They're half a dozen off the pace as they turn up the backside. Advancing up to the outside as they turn on down, it is... Uh, Ocean Point down along the inside. Prince Samba is next, and the trailer is go for it. The quarter fast, 23 and 3. Hendricks is the leader. Sharp as nails to the inside. Magnificent mile to the outside in third. Ocean Point between horses fourth. Life and Light is fifth. Then deep on the course, Connect Me is next to the inside. Prince Simba in between horses. Go Birdie. Looking for racing room covered up to the outside as they head into the far turn by Ocean Point. Now, two links for the back to go for it. Rounding the turn, there goes Magnificent Mile, cut loose to the outside, moving well, and really doing it in hand is he. Sharp as nails, still second, as Hendricks has thrown out the parachute, was first, but now last, as Ocean Point up into the third position. Washington Union's fourth. Go for it is parked out wide, top at home stretch. The Axeman looking for competition, and the only one coming is Ocean Point's going to angle to his flank. They're three across the course with a furlong to go. Sharp as nails, resilient to the Inside, shaking up his magnificent mile, but here's Ocean Point and Omo forging to the front in a final furlong, and Ocean Point drawing away. What a turn of foot here by the Son of Kittens Joy. Ocean Point for Sean O'Brien wins going away and won it well by about a half a dozen. Sharp as nails, magnificent mile, and go for it with the next ones in 139 flat. In the winner's circle. Number five, Ocean Point. Three-year-old chestnut gelded son by Kitten's Joy out of the scat daddy mare named West Palm Beach. The winner's owned by Sean O'Brien, trained by Ritz Yestvenko and Orlando Mojica. The winning jockey. Sean O'Brien up in the winner's circle. Here with his Ocean Point. Second off the claim here for Brian and Estevanko, the winner bred of Kentucky by Springhouse Farm. Ocean Point, breaking the maiden, 139.11 seconds. 5297. Official 5 to 1 winner to kick off the pick five here. Returning 1218, 588, and 378. Dime Super, 361, 30. Pick 347, 77. The winning exact of five and two, three hundred forty-eight dollars forty-four cents. Fifty cent try, two hundred eighty-four ninety-six. The daily double, fifty-two eighteen. Four races down, they went five five one five for the four winners. And up next, it is race five. Race five at Turfway. Up next, it starts the late pick four. Scratch the thirteen. And they are racing. So start for Midnight Noir on debut. There goes Alibi Ike out to set the pace, but OXO's Montmarcou will press up to the inside and up to the outside. Both Brazen Boy and Mr. Kitty on the back stretch run. Mr. Kitty in between horses. Brazen Boy to the outside. Montmarcou to the inside from third. Then deep in the course, Book of Kells and Alibi Ike the next two. Baudet is trying to sneak through a fence, but nowhere to go here. Is about to have to tap the brakes. About three in front of King and Kentucky, who's on the move. Then Red Five races about six links off the lead. Five in front of He Gots to Go. And then three or four back to Midnight Noir and the trailer Storm at Midnight. Round Rounding the turn and Brazen Boy under confident handling. Looking strong with a quarter to go. Montmarcou to the inside. Three deep comes Book of Kells to the top at a home stretch. And Brazen Boy now takes the lead with authority. Montmarcou to the inside. Book of Kells races up into second on the wrong lead. But Brazen Boy is going uh, by about a length and a half in front, Book of Kells is second. Then it's Alibi Ike to the inside. But Brazen Boy a much the best winner. Brazen Boy wins it for Jordan Blair and gives Chris Landeros the second victory on the card. The running time was 111 flat. Brazen Boy breaking on through the maiden ranks in the fourth start here impressively. In the winner's circle, number 10, Brazen Boy, through a big by Jimmy Creed. 
out of the Mineshaft Mare. What a sassy gal. The winner is owned by John and Brittany Turlip, trained by Jordan Blair, who continues his tear here. And ridden to victory by Chris Landeros for the second on the night. For Brazen Boy, he breaks on through, breaks the maiden here in start number four. Does it well, 111, flat. Spread of Kentucky by his owner. Jordan Blair now four wins from 11 starts at the meeting. As Brazen Boy has been declared the official winner. 578, 364, 290. Pick three, 4809, four or five in the pick five, 1579. The winning pick five, $1,167.93. Exact at 4902, the try, $70.09. The double, 4510. 50 cent pick four, four of four, gets you back $205.38. Up next, race number six in 23 minutes. Scratch three, five, seven. Three, five, seven are out. The nine is two over. The 13, 14 both draw in, and the 13 gets Rafael Mojica Jr. And they are racing. The boss factor, tougher than tough, reaching on out. Also, flashing speed. There goes two worlds. So, two worlds out to set the pace. Down on the inside, the boss factor second. From the extreme outside, Rue is third. Then a gap of about a length, rushing up between horses. El Bohemia's hard shove to catch a hole there, but he's running to a thicket of horses and about to tap on the brakes here. There's no room. Midnight Blue Note to the outside there, just about four lengths in front of Danang, who's ridden to keep pace. Frisco line underneath that one, still two. Back to holding the brick. Now Dragon Drew is underway. Dragon Drew off the pace today. And then a couple lengths further back at the back of the pack. Tougher than tougher can see them all. Two worlds can see no one but daylight in front of him. He's in front by a length and a half. The boss factor from second as they reach the top of the home stretch. And two worlds was unopposed uh, thus far and still shows the way two and a half. The boss factor being asked to come and get him. And down the stand side, Dragon Drew off the pace, closing in from third. It's two worlds, but here comes the boss factor to make it close. Two worlds shaking up the boss factor, lunging these two to the wire. And all the way up top, two worlds gets it done at a five. Five to one offering in one, ten, and four. In the winner's circle, number twelve, two worlds. Two worlds, a five year old chestnut horse by Tapature out of the awesome again mare named Shiloh. The winner is owned by RSR Racing LLC, trained by Britt Vandenberg and who? Leo Felix, the winning jockey, number 12, two worlds. Now a five-time winner, his second straight here at the track. Gate to wire, hustled out the gate by Julio in 110 and four. Price is up, 1328, 596, 436. As the winner, dime super, 563.41. The pick 389.92. Exact at 114.28. The try, 475.30. The double, 62.40. Race number seven is up next, the ESI Electric Race. Scratch number four, gonna cut it. The six Willow Bins jockey is one pound over. And they are racing in the ESI Electric Race. Capella had an alert beginning. Prouvé also flashing speed. Willow Bin rising heat. Katie got lucky now. Angles in behind horses as Gnome de Plume is last. Well bunched on the run the first turn. Capella shows the way. Prouvé to the outside of Miss Peabody. Willow Bin, the daughter of Flatter, is fourth at about three lengths off the pace. Deep on the course, Rising Heat is fifth. Sandwich in between horses, Frigid Lady is next. And it is Katie Got Lucky and Gnome de Plume, last of the octet. So it's continued to run well, bunched up on the backside, and not very much pace on here. Capella shows the way. Wow, there's the quarter almost in 25 seconds flat. Capella shows the way by a link. Prouvé tracking in the clear from second. Miss Peabody covered up from third. Willow Bend is fourth. To the inside, Frigid Lady uh, is fifth for the Chasing Dreams. Now, Gnome de Plume is underway underneath her. Katie Got Lucky is next, and now Rising Heat has been relegated to the back of the pack. Half-mile controlled tempo, 49-1. and one. No excuses here for Capella.
Capella. The daughter of Quality Road still shows the way. Miss Peabody has to come and get her early. Here's Miss Peabody taking it right to Capella. Then two lengths for the back. Gnome de Plume continues to grind away from third. Prouvé is fourth. Chasing Dreams. Frigid Lady is fifth. Up the inside. Katie got lucky. Top of the home stretch. And Miss Peabody up and after Capella. Down the stand side. Gnome de Plume. And late on the seed. Frigid Lady is starting to unwind. Here comes Gnome de Plume. Tackling Capella and Miss Peabody. Capella has turned back Miss Peabody. She'll have to deal with Gnome de Plume. Gnome de Plume coming after Capella. These two to the wire. What a performance here by Capella. Capella, a star in the making. In the winner's circle. Now, perfect two for two. Number three, Capella. Three old maid order by Quality Road out of the Tappet Mayor Touch the Star. Winner's owned by Judd Mott. Trained by Brad Cox and Fernando de la Cruz. With his second on the night, five wins in two days so far for. De La Cruz for Capella. She's now two for two. Bred in Kentucky by Jetmont Farms, Inc. She covered the mile, 138 and two. In the winner's circle, welcoming in the folks from ESI Electric. ESI Electric up in the winner's circle with Capella. We can thank those folks for coming out and spending their evening here at the track. Race 7 official, 390, 290, 268. Dime Super, 1391, pick 3, 29, 43. The Exacta was 3 and 9. A $2 winning Exacta will get you 1654. The Tri for 50 cents, 1083. The Double for 2 bucks, $30, 98 cents. Race 8 up next in 23 minutes. Eighth and final, take out numbers 1, 5, 10, 13. 1, 5, 10, 13 are out. 14 draws in. Super high fives in play here in 23 minutes. And they are racing for a city with an alert beginning. Dog red, two birds, these three flashing speed as Malibu Mike came away racing fourth dives down towards the fence. Microphones in behind him between horses. Junior's gift is covered up by the outside by graphic detail. Down on the inside, more than work is third last as they work around that turn. We trail back to box office warrior as they head up the backside, American Icon is wide thus far. The quarter 24 seconds flat, two birds leading for a city. They're about two links in front of the pair of Malibu Mike and Dog Red. Then up on the outside, graphic details fifth while in the clear. Microphone hard held from sixth. Junior's gift in the yellow silks is seventh. More than work, just waiting room. Patient there by Chris Lynn Daros and continued race wide American icon. Box office warrior is last. Half mile 47 and four. No twist in the plot. Two birds, four city still going at it. But now Dog Red emerges from between horses. Graphic detail continuing to race in the fourth position. Malibu Mike is to the inside as they continue to race around the far turn. Junior's gift way out wide. More than work from between horses and up the inside comes microphone top of the home stretch and a quartet of horses across the course and Malibu Mike is going to try to join them as they come together with outside of furlong to go. Two birds is still there but it's graphic detail with the momentum to the outside. Malibu Mike was bounced around. Now he's going to angle out to the three path as we're down to two birds and graphic detail. Two birds shaking up. Two birds will get it done two birds gets it done here to close out the show to pick up the second lifetime victory in one minute 37 and three into the winner's circle number six two birds a four-year-old gray room gilded son by bird song out of the empire maker mare named bird maker the winner's owned by lance picoro by Jeff Hiles with John McKee up top. Two birds, a two-time winner now. Red of Kentucky by Mary Lou Whitney Stables, LLC. 137.60 seconds, the running time. Mark Picuro up in the winner's circle here with two birds. The official winner, $10, 460, Exact to 41.40, 50 cent try, 94.81. The double, 21.94.
50 cent pick four, 143.29. Dime super, $90.18. Single six, $1,130.12 to each of those winners. Carries as well, 9,562 and change. Four of five in the pick five, 1188. The pick three, 3696. The Pick five, seven hundred forty dollars thirty-five cents. The high five was unsolved. Carries to tomorrow. So high five and a pick six carry over tomorrow Saturday when we resume racing here. Don't forget another five fifty-five post.